Hey Modrenners, welcome to another episode of Modren Man. First off, I hope you all had a great week and are looking forward to an exciting weekend. Uh, last week we had the GoPro. Uh, this week we have an episode about a scuba mask that the GoPro mounts onto. Um, so here's the GoPro and the mask is called the Octo Mask. And it's a mask that actually is designed for the GoPro to mount directly onto the mask. Um, GoPro also has a head mount that you can use while scuba diving, but the reason why I got this mask was uh, if something happens when you're underwater and a current picks up or you get accidentally bumped or something like that, you could actually lose your GoPro uh, with the head mount, um, unless maybe it's tucked underneath your hood, but the idea is that it could accidentally get lost and this mounts directly on the, the GoPro mounts directly onto the mask so that if something happens you know that you've lost your GoPro because the mask on your face has obviously gotten uh, knocked off. So the way it works is you can take your GoPro and it has a little attachment here and you can mount it directly on to the mask itself and screw it in like so, and then it screws in. Um, but what I like to do is I actually like to mount the extender on it like I did with the motorcycle helmet. I will mount this guy on it. I'll attach this down here, lock it in place. And what I can do now is I mount the GoPro to the extender using the longer screw and then when it's locked in place and the reason why I'll do this is that if you can see it from the angle it's now out and away from my face a little bit more because when my bubbles I exhale underwater the bubbles are going to go up and I want them to go up behind the camera instead of in front of the camera and getting a bunch of bubbles. Now when you're actually swimming and moving, the bubbles will trail behind you. But if you're stationary and you're video, you know, you're videotaping or recording, like a, a moire or something really cool that's stationary, the bubbles won't interfere with that. So, um, so this is a great way of, of mounting that. And of course, you can mount it and position it underwater um, in different angles, so you can do different things. So that's basically the Octo Mask uh, with the attachment of the GoPro. There, I'm going to go ahead and take it off right now and talk more about the mask. So the mask itself uh, made of uh, you know professional grade silicone. Um, it's a dark skirt and the reason why I also like the dark skirt is for, uh, for video uh, taping, recording, um, that uh, it doesn't, you don't have any distractions. So having the, the dark skirt definitely helps uh, in that aspect of it. Um, if it's on your face, uh, you wanna make sure you clean out the mask just like you do with all new masks. Uh, clean off the inside of the mask with some toothpaste or some mask abrasive so that it'll actually clean out the mask. And then strap, mount it on. It's, uh, you wanna make sure, like I said uh, a couple weeks ago talking about scuba masks, is you wanna make sure that it still fits your face. Uh, the most important thing about a scuba mask is that it actually fits your face and that it has a good suction it stays on your face so that it's comfortable and not hitting your face in any weird locations. But with the two window design of this, um, it works out really well. I would say it would most likely fit about 80 to 90% of most faces. So you pretty much can't go wrong. It's a comfortable mask and, um, and that's the Octo Mask uh, designed for mounting a GoPro on it. So before I say goodbye this week, um, I have some videos that I recorded with the Octo Mask and the GoPro of myself in the pool. So I'm going to put those up there for you and I'll let you watch those. Um, they are right here.
Um, and yeah, those were some videos. Um, I hope you enjoyed the episode this week. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Um, give me a thumbs up. Uh, share with your friends. If you have any scuba divers out there, make sure you share this video with them. They might find it useful and helpful, something that they might want to get themselves. Um, I hope you have a great weekend and whatever you do out there, find your passion.